I don't know. Hey, Miss Rich. Hey, Sage. Oh, shit, Michelle. Oh, shit, Issa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Issa and Isha. Oh, shit. Known as P. Shorty. Pow, pow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Everybody say, oh, shit. Because, oh, shit. Good morning, my politician, baby. Braddy Couture. Did anybody tune into that live last night? Bitch, I don't know what has gotten into me, but I have been gallivanting around outside as if it's the weekend every day. And I'm fucked up. Bitch, I am fucked up. These past two days, between the studio and my best friend's birthday, like, I am done. I am done, bitch. I don't, I don't want to drink no more. I don't want to smoke no more. I don't want to... I don't want to do nothing. I feel terrible. Wealth wise, Prosecco, bitch. I don't. I wasn't drinking Prosecco. We drank a. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Tourist season. I mean, I'm ready to come. You know, it's too much. Libations. I'm dry. I don't have nothing left in the tank, bitch. I don't have nothing left in the tank, bitch. Like, did you drink Casamigos? No. Thank God I, I went on that Casamigos last night. I was on that Ciroc. Ciroc don't normally fuck me up like that, but we was drinking so much. It was her birthday. Like, I just, I need, you know, I'm about to be a Christian. I need Jesus at this point. I need the second, third Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, you know, we finna be, this is finna be a Christian show, you know. Oh, Lord, how excellent. Mm. How excellent, mm -mm. how excellent, mm -mm. how oh, excellent, boom, boom, he is your name and all the earth. You know, we need to be Christians, we better be Christians around here. Oh, shit. Lustful. Lustful cakes, you know I'm lying, honey. I mean, I respect Christians and stuff like that, but I could never. I could never. Bitch. Oh, God. Drink a liquid IV. I'm about to... I, I, I need to turn Tamron off. Because Tamron will, Tamron will fuck me up even worse. Let me just turn her off right quick. Eat a hangover breakfast sandwich. Okay, so I'm going to fast. Ooh. I want to fast right now. I'm fasting from sun up to sun down like the Muslims. That's what we're going to turn into, the Muslims. We're going to turn into Muslims. That's what we're going to do. Woke up congested as a motherfucker. Throat dry as fuck. Like, it's the pollen. It's the mother. My eyes are motherfucking irritated. Pollen. It's, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get up. I, you know, and tomorrow, I got to go to the airport. I got to go to LA tomorrow. I feel like I need to take a day. But at the same time, shit needs to be done. Like, I have painters coming starting tomorrow when I leave. And sir has to go to school. And all I can do is hit my vape. Hit my vape. Now, I told my best friend, I said, bitch, you got to work tomorrow. So when you got to work, I'm going to work. So this is me at work. Like, right now, I don't even have the words to inspire you. You know, I'm just, but see, last night when I was drunk, I should have wrote down everything that was coming to my mind because I do have something to tell y'all. I do have something to tell y'all, and I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it today. I'm going to tell it right now. I'm going to tell it because it was a clear message in that drunk. Are we still in retrograde? That's the question. Are we still in retrograde? I slept with the window open. I feel dry as a bone. I hope the West Coast is <sighs> nothing much. Just checking in on your girl. That's all, love. I don't even remember why we stopped talking, my nigga. I don't even remember why we stopped talking, to be honest. Did you play me or something? Question mark. <laughs> I 
Nigga, I'll run through these niggas like motherfucking road running coyote. Look at this nigga. I'm over here exposed. I saw I wasn't going to expose, but he fine. Look at that. I mean, I, you know, I, I felt so, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about something for Puerto Rico. And he got the same neck tattoo as I had, but you can't see it now because I got too many tattoos. Oh, see, that's the problem. I'm over here. Lust is my problem. When I'm hungover and drunk, all I want to do is fuck. That's it. I just want to fuck. He do hair. I don't know what he do, but he too gay for me. I need tall niggas. I need niggas with balls dropping in my mouth and stuff. They're, if his balls drop, they'll be at my feet. I need the nigga be talking. Drop, I need the giants to come back. Giants need to make a comeback. Like giants, go ahead and reveal yourself. Just come from underground, like the Jurassic Park area did in China and underground. Come out and then put the balls in my mouth. That's what I'm saying. But this, this, this right here, this little boy shit. I, you know, I just, I just, I just need, I just need the guy, the Ganesha, 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 come through, Ganesha, Confucius, Buddhas, Jesus. Oh, you're not a Christian, gargles and. Oh, my God. Boots, if you, look, tell you something. In spirituality, when you be casting and when you be divinating stuff, you have to have an anchor. My anchor is always my penis. I've masturbated so many times on live, and y'all haven't known under that table. I be pulling cards. I can multitask my ass off. I masturbate under that table, pull them cards, and play a sound effect at the same time and get you together at the same time. I swear, masturbation is an anchor, but y'all have become a very, very good anchor to me, though. Let me tell y'all something about this girl. Let me tell you something about her. She gagged the fuck out of me. Let me tell you something. Okay, so... I get my hair done. My accountant does my hair, right? She is a licensed hair uh, technician. She does this kind of hair. You got to get licensed. Through this. this hair is expensive. This hair is lit, right? So I went to Atlanta. Y'all know when I went to Atlanta to get my hair done, my mom tagged along and she blessed her homegirl because she wanted to, you know, come, come to a trip or whatever. So I'm in there. I'm drinking that Cabassier. You know, I might need to stop drinking, like, for a little bit because this is too much. Every time I drink, I, I, I just be... Have a good time. And then I have this regret afterwards. Anyway, okay, so her name is Emma Libra Ways or whatever. And she come to, I guess, one of her friends. Play you, really? Hold on. Hold on, this little boy. Hold on. I'm about to talk about you, Emma Libra Ways. So get ready. This boy is talking about some play you, really? And you'd be surprised at what I go through, period. What happened? Why we stop talking? This little boy, he came out the woodworks. I mean, maybe this is a blessing from God because last night I masturbated to somebody I didn't even know. And then next thing you know, boom. And then next thing you know, he my DMs and stuff with his body and stuff. I can't fuck with you. I got readings to do, bitch. I can't be distracted. I'm trying to get up. And then the chicks that came out, the, the birds had babies and they went around. And I can't even greet the babies. They wanted to show me their babies. So ran up on them. Oh! Okay, so let me tell y'all a story real quick, and I'm going to tell y'all the word, and I'm out of here, because I'm going to try to do a live later. I'm trying to get this temp dry down, because it's about damn 500 reads in there. I ain't even start on shit, bitch. I was so lit. I can't be acting like, I can't be acting like I'm in college no more. I got responsibilities, ho. You know what I'm saying? But it was her birthday, like, her birthday fell on a Tuesday, and the day before that, I had to go to the studio and drop some beats, and you always drink in the studio, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on around here now. And I gotta get cute for LA. I'm be cute though. I'm be, I got the thing. Oh, I need to call my. I need to call my manager. I need to call my man. I need to call somebody. I need to call Tyrone. I need to call my manager. I need to call who? I need to call. I need. I need to tell you the story about this girl. Hold on. There's too much going on. Who am I calling? I'm gonna call you. I don't want to call you. Who did I just call? I don't want to call you. I want to call Maya. Oh my God! It's too much, y'all. It's too much. Maya, Maya, please help. Somebody. I mean, Maya, but good morning. You all right? You look like I look. You're my fucking ears. My nose feel like your head. Say hey to live. You know, I'm over here. I said, when you said you was going to work, I said I was going to work. And I'm at work, but I can't do it. All these people calling me. Why don't you leave me alone? Are you able to answer? I don't want to. Girl, everybody, y'all know her from last <laughs> night. That's Tommy C. You say what? I need my damn sandwich. Girl, I need, I don't even, I'm not even hungry. I just want to 
I want to redo yesterday. I don't want to do. I want to get drunk like we was. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to sit here. I want to eat that melted cake. That cake's still over there melted too. <laughs> yeah, like come clean this cake, please. <laughs> For real, come clean. And the liquor bottles are still on the table, so I'm like, I don't even want to go in there. You know what I'm saying? You know how the day after you look at liquor and it's like, bitch, I can't even look at your ass, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be, y'all be toe up too. Y'all was tore up. See, her, was you on that live? Because I couldn't take it. Okay, girl, I got to call the manager. I got to make sure my business is straight. So I'm a, we both in the bed. We both work from home, so we good. I'll call you later, girl. I'll holler. Happy birthday. Zip nails look cute in the camera. Yeah, now Mallory did that. That cute as fuck. Damn. Honey, I need a picture with Drake because my Instagram week is fuck. Bobby's. Bobby's. Okay, girl, that's my best friend. You know, we back on good terms. I'm so happy to have her back in my life and stuff like that. Okay, let me focus, focus, focus. Okay, first of all, in my Libra ways, let me tell you about her. So, I'm getting my hair done by Chan. My hair takes like two days to do, bitch. Okay, like I was on a Cavassier and Chan's chair or whatever. This lovely lady comes in and she is just genuine and to the point and she was doing her son's school project. Now, raise your hand if you've ever done an entire project for your child for school. My mother never did no shit like that. Like, I mean, these kids nowadays, I mean, his name is Lil Justin. I remember his name is Lil Justin. And he had to do a project on a country. And I'm going to show y'all Lil Justin's face. Let me show y'all. This is so cute. I was so invested. She was there to get some hair from Chance so he could be Jamaica's, whatever. And she did this whole pro. I sat there and watched her do this whole motherfucking project, right? Now, um, y'all saying no, but I probably would do this for my child. I, I would. I want my child to have good grades and, you know, and me and she won first. Okay. Okay. Like the science part. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about. She did just this whole fucking project. Right. And I sit up there watching her. I didn't know she knew who I was. I didn't know she knew who I was. She, um, she was so cool. Like she came in, she was just talking. She was lit with it. We was taking shots and, um, she was talking about she being in the streets. She was talking about her whole life. Bitch, she played it so cool. I did not know that this bitch is a big fan. She's a huge fan. She was at the meet and greet in Atlanta. She pulled up on me for like three years ago, right? So yesterday, she slid off into my DM talking about some no invite to the pool party that didn't happen. And I was like, bitch, you, you, I don't invite fans to my house. You know, you ain't coming to no house. You know what I'm saying? And then she sent a throwback picture the next day because the cookout didn't happen because it was storming this weekend. And she sent this picture and I said, oh my God, you are a huge... I love the fact, let me tell you something what I love. Let me tell you what I love. And I'm sorry I'm talking a little crazy come hungover or whatever, trying to get this shot the way. I love people who are themselves regardless of who's in the room. She did not gag on me. I did not know I was in the presence of somebody who knew who I was. She was just focused on her child's project and being so authentically herself that I was so comfortable just to drink Cabassier and let my guard down. So I tell her, I was like, oh my God, you are a huge fan, bitch. Like, I feel slightly embarrassed now because I was so lit. Like, I get, I was lit in that chair like I'm lit now. You moon know I was lit. You moon, am I lit? You moon, that's, that's that nigga right there. That's the nigga right there. He been so comfortable. He does this when I'm hungover. He tries to comfort me. And um, I was so fucking lit. And I was just, I got embarrassed after that. Because I was like, bitch, around fans, I mean, my fans are like my family. So they know what's up. But if I would have known she was a fan like that, I would have tried to, you know, zhuzh up a little bit. But I'm going to tell you something. Me being my, raise your hand if you've ever been around me. And I've been my authentic self. It was so... Like, I feel like you could be my friend in real life because of the way you behave. Like, it was so... When you showed me that picture, something clicked in me. And I was like, my fans are really my family on, in real life. Like, she did not say that she watches the show. She did not say that she was like, you know, into... But she, I didn't even recognize... I meet so many people that like, you know, it wasn't my, my, my mindset of like, okay, I'm about to be around somebody that watches me. Like... Except for Chan. And Chan, you know, if you work for me, you don't get readings from me. But I read every child she had in that room. I read all the children. I read, I don't know if I read a hundred. Anyway, it was just a euphoric experience to know that, like, I could be around somebody who's such a big supporter of me. And they're so cool that it just flows. That was my point. And I gagged when you sent me that picture. I gagged. I was, I, you sent it last night when I was about 10 shots in. And I was like, ain't no way. This is a meet and greet in Atlanta I did. Right on. Maya's. Hey, what's up? 
Uh, Myers, help. What's going on? Help, Myers. 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 What's wrong? Maya, help. Help, Myers. Myers. Maya. Maya. By the way, I'm saying help. What's wrong? Uh, um, Tyler's birthday was yesterday. That's a hint. Hungover. Hungover as fuck. <laughs> Maya, this house is destroyed. <laughs> It's not that bad. It's just melted cake all over my stove. <laughs> it was an ice cream cake we got, and we didn't realize it was until our nails was done, and it was melted all over the stove. Maya, I need help. Maya, when you going to be here? Uh, probably about, I'm sorry, I'm probably like right at 11, 11, 15. I swear you be so prompt in life. It's crazy. I just could call you. You just pop right up. You the best, bitch. I swear you is. You are the best. Like I swear, I couldn't do I couldn't do this without you. My, I love you so much. I love you too, baby. I think I'm still drunk because you know I get emotional when I'm drunk. Mm -hmm. My, uh, mm -hmm. I need. Okay, so we got to get this house travel ready. You know what that look? You know what that feel like? Like you got to move. And that altar. I think that's what my problem is. I'm out of. I'm working out of altar right now. My altar ain't been lit in seven days because I got to move the shit. Myas, Myas, please. What you want for breakfast? You want some breakfast? I'm gonna order some breakfast for us. Um, I love that picture too. What you I don't care. What you want? You want IHOP? You want damn Maple Biscuit Factory? You want what you want, girl? I need some. I need a man. This boy lying. I stopped talking to him for a reason. I just stopped texting you after you trying telling me what to what I do for a living. What? This boy is on my DM talking about something. I just stopped texting you after you tried telling me what I do for a living. Oh, Lord. Okay, then don't text me now. <laughs> huh, I'm confused. Maya, I'm all over the place, and I need you to come get some order in my life. For real, yeah. I'll be there no later than about 11.15, though. Okay, I love you very much. I'll see you soon. Okay, uh, and what do you want for breakfast? You want some chicken biscuits? You want some sandwiches? Just order anything? Uh, yeah, anything. I know, you're not picky. I make sure I have coffee because, you know, coffee turns you into the road runner. <laughs> okay, I see you soon. I love you. What this nigga want then? Huh? I'm confused. I just stopped texting you after you tried, after you tried telling me what I do for a living. I'm confused. What do you do for a living? You know what? Just go. You know what? Just go. I'm not going to say that to him because I might want to bend his ass over when I come back. Huh, I'm confused. I remember you, but I think you were a catfish. I don't know. What the, I don't know. I don't know. What's, I don't know who this is. I don't know how he got my number. I don't know what's up. Anyway, going back to what I was talking about, I love my fan base. And I love the fact that she didn't fan out. Like, she, she was so cool. And it just, it was euphoric to me. And yes, you can get an invite to my house. Like, you can come. Come with Chan. Y'all just come on. No, don't be mean. Why the fuck not? It's a reason why we stopped talking. And if I don't remember, it wasn't a memorable conversation. So why are you texting me now? And if he stopped texting me, why are you texting me now? Like, no. Like, I don't play that shit, bro. Like, if, if it's an issue, then you shouldn't text me back. The only reason you text me back is because I probably gave you some money and you want some more. I try to put my tricky ways to the side, but it's this one nigga right now I'm talking to. He about to get all my coins, and he's gonna get everything because he likes it. He, oh, oh my god, I can't. He, oh god, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I feel like, I feel like I told him he probably a prostitute, and I told him that you a hoe, and then he don't like it because he said what he do for it. Why he didn't just tell me what he did? I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I. Okay, this is a part of me, and I'm sorry, I'm a little manic today. Are y'all keeping up with me? Because I'm not keeping up with myself. I'm really trying, but I'm not not doing a good job today. I didn't do a good job last night on that live because I was purging. It was too much. I feel so good. <laughs> I feel great. I feel great. I just... <sighs> trying to focus. <sighs> trying to focus. Yeah, because y'all always got me. Let me tell you something. What my girls told me yesterday after I got out there live, it's like... Little Eloa Jesus, girl, it was deep. You want to talk or not? Oh, girl, hell no. Jesus, girl, it wasn't deep. You want to talk or not? 
Not at all, period. I don't remember you, so you didn't leave a lasting impression. And if you stopped texting me as you told me, why are you texting me now? I don't remember you, so you didn't leave a lasting impression. And if you stopped texting me as you told me, why are you texting me now? Be gone. The fuck? You thought the little cute-ass picture was going to do something for me? Fuck out of here. You're like my manager's son anyway. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck out of here. Don't touch me again, nigga. Fuck. <clears throat> I can't stand hoes trying to try you like that. Goddamn, the fuck? The fuck, nigga? You don't know who you talking to. I feel like these niggas you talking to basic bitches. Bitch, I ain't basic bitch. I like straight niggas that don't have, they ain't never crossed the board before, but he claimed you by, I think he was bisexual. I should expose you, but I ain't gonna expose you. I just, right! Bella? Bella, you done got me out the bed. Right. Shut the fuck up and bend over, bitch. Guess. That's what I'm talking about. Bitch, the fuck? You too much, too much dialogue going on. Too much talking going on. That's why I'm hiring me an escort. Oh my god, look at my living room, y'all. Okay, look, this is the problem. I have been working out of altar. I have to I had to shut my altar down because this wall is gonna be painted, right? So there's been no energy here. This is my anchor. This keeps me protected and safe. I have been out of it since this altar has been you know, clear. Nothing's burning on there. It's just you don't you don't feel nothing. I don't feel anything. I don't feel nothing. But it looks nice. This is this is something that looks nice. But when it's lit, it feels good. There is nothing on this altar that is burning. Like it's it's. I had to dub it down. Even the the feathers are changing colors. It's dead. The altar is dead right now, and I don't like it. Okay, I came to look over here, and it's been like that for seven days, and I am I I, I am feeling the effects of me not having an altar. Like it's it's just crazy. And what I'm gonna do? When I get to LA, I'm going to make a makeshift altar, a travel altar to protect myself. But my magic is higher than ever and I'm manic as ever. Look at this shit. Look at what we did last night, y'all. We dusted this. We can drink down. We dusted this fucking bottle. Bitch, the wine. The wine is gone. All that's left is this barefoot shit that tastes like Sprite. And look, let me show you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. She was, She's 31. She's 30, as you can tell, happy birthday. Happy birthday, bitch. The whole cake is gone. We didn't realize the cake was gone until it was too late. The cake is gone. Let me turn the light on so y'all can see this cake. Cake? I ain't no cake. You better mind your damn business. Okay? Look. The cake is gone. Ugh. The cake is gone. We didn't realize it was an ice cream cake. <laughs> it was fucked up. The cake is gone. The cake is motherfucking gone. Bitch, I need to get back in the bed. Lord Jesus. I did weed thing was full. We done smoked out of weed. It's, it's too much. I'm going to lay back down. I'm going to lay back down. I'm going to lay back down. Deja, where you been? Bitch, you late. Bitch, Deja, you ain't never late. Look, they got the geese. Okay, I just saw some babies this morning. Because, you know, when the geese, hey, Serby, hey, baby, hey, baby, you want me to come outside, don't you? I'm not coming outside, but I love you. Good boy. Go play. Go play. Go. Good boy. Moon, you holding me down? Okay, PCP, hold it down. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my nails are cute, though. They're cute boots, right? Okay, yeah, check out the nails. Mallory does it. Every every other Tuesday, she comes here to get me right. And I think I'm going to invite people to use her services. I book her all day. And um, she's she's just a vibe. Mallory's a vibe, bro. She's a vibe. And I appreciate her for getting me right. Nigga, you text me talking about something. What the fuck? You're trying to, you're trying to ruin my damn day. Like, but you can't ruin my day? Because it's the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, and I will be glad in it. This is the fucking day, bitch. This is the fucking day that the Lord has made. What happened to the other nail tech? Uh, what's her name? Katie? I shot up her house. Yeah, it was a bitch at her house party I didn't fuck with, and she tried me, and I had popped some guns outside, and I had to leave, and I hadn't been able to talk to her since. Yeah. Yeah, it was her house. It was her birthday party, and... Uh, a bitch that was there I didn't fuck with. She was one squad and shit like that. And she claimed that I lost access to her. And then I was trying to be nice to her. Uh, you know, I trying to be nice, trying to be cool. And she had a chip on her shoulder. So I put that chip in my gun and fired that bitch off. And I left. And I ain't talked to her since then. Mm. That's what happened. I shot up her house party.
Yep. And then hindsight, looking back, I was being severely used by them. I was being used for entertainment purposes. <clears throat> I was bringing all the girls to the yard, all the trans girls to the yard. And it ain't been the same since I left. So at that point in time, I said, I need to get somebody to come do my nails in-house. So I got a, a stylist that worked in that motherfucking salon to come pull up on me. And um, she does every other Tuesday. Is that a booger? Oh, my God. That's nasty. <sighs> I know I'd be insecure about being congested on live. Anyway, so yeah, I I don't see her no more. That happened with last year. She coming out for her birthday debut, and I'm shooting up the play. I told y'all I can't go nowhere for real. Like I'm 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 really volatile with some shit on some real shit. On some real shit. Like don't try me, bitch. Like, and I I was pissed. I held it together for as long as I could for her little grand interest or whatever. Then I went outside and shot the place up. Sure did, and they still to this day don't know who did it, but that little girl who was trying to calm me down was her best friend, assistant, or whatever, and she rivaled her name is Tiana, right? And Tiana told Katie I shot the place up, because Katie didn't know. She thought it was fireworks for her birthday. I said, bye-bye, uh-huh, you better shut your ass up. And next thing you know, the girl that I, the girl that tried me got jumped that night, because I put that little hex on her. I thought I was speaking in demonic tongues, and next thing you know, her whole damn wig came out by the end of the night, and I didn't even do it. But she, um, I guess she had a problem with somebody else that didn't pay her for some services, and I wouldn't pay for her services either, because she a bitch. And next thing you know, Boom, her ass whooped. She ain't going back to work. And now Katie down a client and a friend. Bitch, that's what happened. And I ain't the one, bitch. And I guarantee if, I, if my Libra ways was that she would have fucked her up for me. Raise your hand if you'll fight for me, bitch. Raise your hand if you like my girl Christina in Canada who will pull up on my ex-boyfriend and just expose him. Okay? Y'all ride or die out this bitch. I know Callie, Callie will pull up anywhere I'm at. Okay? But on some real shit, I don't fight girls. I don't. I had this conversation last night. I, I am not transgender. But I don't feel like... I've been raised right. I don't, I'm chivalrous. I'm chivalrous. I, I I feel like I get a bitch to beat your ass and I'll just threaten you. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm not, I, I don't fight girl. I've never fought a female. I slapped the hell out of a bitch though, but I ain't never, I, I never like go, go blow to blow to you. I just need to have the last word and that gun talk more than I can. I mean, I like if somebody try me in your city and I call you, will you pull up and whoop their ass for me? That's the question. And not a lot of celebrities say, yeah, I, you know what I mean, the bars probably would. The bars will uh, quit school to defend Nicki Minaj. And the Beehive, I don't think the Beehive are fighters. They're just talkers. Beehive just be talking. They wouldn't fight for Beyonce. Okay, they wouldn't fight. But I will I will go to war for my girls. I'll go to spiritual war for my girls. I, I do it every day when I answer your questions and shit like that. Shit, I need to know if y'all if y'all down for the cause for real. I need to know if I'm building a religion, if I'm building a belief system, I need to know I got some some fighters. Jesus had 12 disciples. Half of them betrayed his ass. I think all of them betrayed his ass, but they ain't go to war for his ass. Will y'all go to war for me? I ain't going to war no time soon, but y'all got to be ready. Y'all got to be ready. Squad up is not public. When somebody try me, I got to, I got to knock if you bucking this bitch. Shit, I know I, I know I talk to some gangster bitches. I know I do. But I talk to some real conservative bitches, too, and some real prestigious people. And you have to code switch. You know, you have to talk to people like, hello. And you have to talk to people like, what's up? You got to talk to people like, hey, what's good? You know what I'm saying? You got to code switch. But one thing that's true to the code is I will beat your ass. That's why I don't do it. Because I will go to jail. I told y'all at that Nicki Minaj concert, I will go to jail. I will go to jail. I, this, this crowd, I feel it. Feel the energy. It's volatile, bitch. And I will be the one to go. I got suspended from school more times than I can count just for fighting. Violence and stuff. <clears throat> Ten toes. That's what I'm talking about. If you let me in cover and I can fight for real, bitch, you got to apply to cover. Are you in squad? Uh, applications to Coven open up on my birthday. We did a lot of good spells this year too. Um, since the Coven, we we need to do another one. We need to do one more before I open up the applications. And Callie is the administrator of Coven and Squad, and she's doing an excellent job, bitch. I don't have to worry about them posts. I don't have to worry about the riffraff. But y'all better stop asking me damn questions about your services in there, bitch. <clears throat> the Nikki crowd. It was a lot, Sierra. It was a lot. It was. It was. It was. I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect it to be so childish like she has a young fan base i didn't realize that because she'd be rapping about like grown nigga shit like so i i don't know i don't know where i was it was like barbie land and i was like bitch i ain't no barbie i'm just dressed in pink honey like i got to get out of here and when she came out like it was it the, the energy turned up like it okay the energy of her audience reminded me of when she was talking about meg like when she was on live going off about meg for three days that's what the crowd energy felt like. And I just had to leave. I had to slap that bitch after she called me a faggot. And I said, oh, no. 
I slapped her and then I had went back in the crowd and then the police was having that flashlight and me and Tommy, I took them heels off and I ran to the car, bitch. I was out. You ain't gonna catch me. Not today. Not today. But I know I'm cool with the police in Charlotte now because of all the work that I do for them. So I would have got off anyway. But I, I don't know. When I saw that nigga, it's like, when I saw Nikki, I was like, that's not Nikki. It's time to go. And the police was behind me, so I had to leave. That's what it was. That's what it was. But it was a good, it was, she did good. She, it was a good show. But that's how that was. Where's Maya? Maya! Damn, I need to call my mama. Mama! You know, like, when you be hungover, it, it reminds me of when I was a child and I fake sick home from school and I got pampered with ice cream and stuff. Mama, please! Mama! Mama! You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Bitch, I hope y'all keeping up with me because I'm hungover and I'm trying to get my energy up so I can answer your questions. But I'm going to tell you, this your question going to be answered for the end of the week because it's 500 readings in there and I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, girl, I need, it's so much I need to do. I'm not overwhelmed, though. I'm just fucked up. <laughs> it congested as fuck. I'm just fucked up. Your questions are very important to me. Let me put my professional hat on real quick. Your questions are very important to me. Um, there's a 24 to 48 hour turnover rate. And for now, I think I'm still in the clear with the 24 to 48 hours. But it might take me a little time. I might have to answer your questions at the airport tomorrow. Because today I need to really focus on these looks for LA. I need to focus on getting my house together to be painted. I need to focus on... I need to focus on me today. Like I just need to... To... to you know, to... Really feel my humanity. It's the seventh day without my altar being lit. And I'm feeling more human than ever. Are we still in a retrograde... Because this retrograde brought back my best friend, but it also brought back some temptations. And I feel like I've folded on some of them, you know. But, hey, we're human. You learn, you know. Big day tomorrow. It's, not, it's just a travel day. Travel days are fun. I get to sleep on a plane and write music. That's cool. I traveled to see her only, can, her only canceled show. Then my man went to jail. Shit just been a mess since then. See, you picked up on that damn energy. That's what you did. That that damn volatile shit. That's what you did. Retrograde is... Oh, thank God. This retrograde brought back my best friend. And I needed her back. Like, for where I'm going, I needed somebody to be a rock to me. It's not employed by me. You know what I'm saying? My employees are solid as a rock with their employees. You know what I'm saying? But they care about me and I care about them. Like, outside of being an employee, we're friends. But they are so good about never crossing that line. Um, my my circle became very small after we... Both of ours had... I want, I want, I want her to be here to tell the story about, like, what we both experienced. We... Yesterday, we as as we were drunk and we were getting our nails done, we both said the word twin flames at the same time. And honestly, based on the experiences that I've been having since she's been back in my life, we're twin flames as fuck. Like, it's, it's so crazy how parallel our energy was when we were disconnected. And then you know how we got back cool. Three times we saw each other. Um, and now it's just, it's, 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 it's the most spiritual connection that I've had. Employees be the ones in inheritances for a reason. Oh, yes. Yes. When I, let me tell you something. When I die, if I don't have children, because my children are going to get everything, right? <clears throat> I'm not going to say fuck my family. I love my family. But my family don't like the fact that I'm a witch. And I was in a group chat and they were, um, I thought it was because I was gay. I've always thought it was because the gay thing, the witch thing, I didn't think people care too much about. But apparently people care more about that than me being gay. My little cousin expressed to me, he was like, I was, I'm kind of afraid of you because of what you were into. And I was like, oh shit, like for real? And um, we were supposed to have a cousin's day at my house and everybody canceled on me. And I was trying to figure out why. But I didn't know I was in a group chat that my cousin invited me into. And they were like, yeah, we don't really do all that witchy shit. And I'm like, oh, that's the issue. That's why y'all don't don't come over here. They haven't been over here since the day I threw my birthday party because they were nosy trying to see what my house looked like. It's crazy. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know how I got on that topic, but it is what it is. I'll say this. Um, my staff will be very well taken care of and their children will be very well taken care of when I get out of here. For real. I gotta blow my nose so bad. Um, <clears throat> yes. They hold me down, down. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Uh, they will be very well taken care of. Them and their kids. Damn, I got no toilet tissue in here. 
Did I take a shit last night? Damn. Uh, damn, they used all the toilet paper. Oh, yeah, we was fucked up. Don't let it get you down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Don't let it get you. Ugh. Oh, I got a sinus infection. It's green. Ugh, shit. Ugh. Ugh. I don't think I ever really healed from that sinus infection I had. I just pretend like I didn't have it. But it is what it is. They say you're not supposed to sleep with the door open and the and the fan on. I did that last night because I was hot. I was hungover and I was hot. It was some good sleep. Then I wake up feeling like goddamn walrus meese, you know. It's not my birthday. It was my best friend's birthday. My birthday is the last day of Taurus. It's the 20th, okay. Y'all been saying happy birthday for two weeks. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck y'all talking about. Uh, my mom is more loyal to her assistant than me. I'm sure of that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay, how can I put this? What I have learned in being a boss is that money, anybody would do anything for the right price, right? But people who you hire that would do it even though they aren't getting paid, them the people that you pay the most. That's how I look at it. Maya will hold me down if I was broke. Like, my nail technician said, Boots, if you didn't have no money, I'd still make sure that you were straight. And I'm like, that's that's the kind of connections that, that I fuck with, right? And it's funny because my, my own family don't even act like that. Like, it's crazy. Like, I know that if I have a show and I'm broke, my manager's still going to book the show. My motherfucking assistant's still going to show up. My mama's still going to be there cheering me. Like, front row, my best friend's going to be in the back talking shit. I know that for a fact. And that's why... That's why I fuck with them so heavy. Like, you know, it's 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 strange now that we're talking about it. The energy is kind of strange around that. And this is the first time I'm really thinking about it. But I get why my mother got a little jealous of my... Because when I first started making money, I hired people to do shit for me. My mother got a little jealous about it. Um, and I had to remind her, they're on payroll. They get paid to be here. I think what she was picking up on was how they ride for me. And that's what the jealousy kicked in. They're like, all these people riding for my nigga. And I'm like, yeah, but I have to put it in perspective to her because a mother is going to feel like, you know, like 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 she's competing with people who are paid to take care of me. And I had to let her know, Ma, they're on payroll. And I tell her, I say, do you think that they would do this if they wasn't getting paid? I have to do that to her to make her feel good about herself, right? But on the real shit, these motherfuckers wrote for me before I even had millions. These motherfuckers wrote for me like before the work even... Maya went out there and got COVID. Damn near died, right? I felt so bad, too. But she was outside during COVID anyway. I just had her running tasks. And she she had COVID, damn near died. When she got back from COVID, she was like, what do you need me to do? I'm like, what the fuck, bitch? I need you to sit down, okay? I need you to sit down. And 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 and, and I'm like, that loyalty, you can't buy that. Like, that, that shit is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's it's literally crazy. And I'm gonna tell you, me and Maya, how she got to be my assistant. She came to every meet and greet and she said, I wanna work for you. And I said, I don't got nothing available, girl. Like, COVID hit and I said, Okay, well, come on. Like, you know. And at first she was just doing housework and stuff like that. Then she started running for me. Then I found out that she got she got to connect some of the good weed in Charlotte. And I was like, Okay, we'll do that. And next thing you know, it's just six years later, she's coming to my second home. LA's my second home, by the way. Now, look, I don't think I'm going to get an apartment this time. I'm going to look at some places, though. But I don't think I'm going to sign on anything because, bitch, I got a house. Like, I'm, I want, if I want to go to LA, I can go for extended periods of time and be good. But this is my home. I do make enough money to create a home base there. I just don't want to rent anything. I'm a homeowner. I want to own. Like, and what I pay in my mortgage here should be the same as what I'm paying there for a one bedroom. And I, I don't know. I need to find a, I don't know. Something's shifting. Something's shifting with what I'm looking for. I do, I need to taste LA again. I need to taste it. And then I'll make a decision on what I'm going to do after I see these places, right? 
But I really want to go for a vacation. I need a break from Charlotte. I need to need to get out of here. And y'all know when I travel, I turn up. And if you want to turn up with me, come see me. I still have some perfume uh, meet and greet tickets available. Y'all get to smell my new fragrance. It, this new fragrance is a hit or miss. I feel like if you got money, it stinks. And if you broke, it smells good. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. Everybody I spray that has money, they like, okay, it's, it's, it does smell like money, but I wouldn't wear this. But then I sprayed it on a broke hole at the goddamn store, and she was like, oh, I love it, I love it. I said, oh. My ex-boyfriend lives in Denver, Colorado. My prom date. Y'all want to see my prom date? I don't think I've ever showed y'all this picture. <laughs> Oh, look at me. That's Young Boots. That's not Brandon. That's Young Boots, honey. Look at the eyeliner and the goddamn mascara. He is adorable in that picture. I don't know what happened to him. He cut that hair. That's what happened. He cut that hair and turned into a gypsy. I miss prom. He sent me that picture. He was like prom season. And I said, oh, my God, that's so cute. But then I gave him some fucking money because he broke it. Next thing you know, he's in Paris. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? What kind of grifting shit you on? That's young boots. That's that's young. That's yeah. I mean, Brandon. Brandon went the year before. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can show um y'all Brandon. Brandon was out there too though. So Brandon had a prom and Boots had a prom. Hold on, let me type it in Facebook. Cause Facebook Facebook is where the memories are kept, honey. Instagram, we gotta scroll back. Can somebody do me a favor and um so I can post this fucking reading? Can somebody find that picture of me and Sydney Star? It's all the way back in 2019. <clears throat> if you find me that picture, I will send you some money. Boom, that's a public contest. Find me that picture of me and Sydney Star and send it to my DMs and I'll give you fifty dollars. But you gotta incorporate your cash app. The first person to do it get money. Man, I make it a hundred. Shit. Stop being cheap, nigga. Gotta stop being cheap. Yeah, find that picture. It's in 2019. It's posted. I just didn't want to do all that scrolling, which is why I ain't posted that reading yet. Okay, photos posted by me. Find me that picture of me and Sydney Star, please. I appreciate it. Okay, here is Brandon's prom picture. <laughs> but boots were still coming out. I had them blue contacts in my braces. Oh shit! Memory lane, memory lane. That's my. That wasn't prime. That was senior. That was my senior picture. Oh, Brandon, that nigga, bro. I swear he was that nigga. I still am. I know he got a chain coming too, nigga. Let me see. Okay, there go. There's there you go. There you go. Dry, high as a mug. I would. I've been high ever since. High as a mug, lit in my hair, corsage on. That's Andrea Smoke, by the way. She's so cool. Like, Tequila don't like her. That was my old best friend. But I see why now you were jealous of a light-skinned bitch. And your dumb ass ain't got nothing going on for yourself. Oop, if y'all friends with Tequila, tell her I say every word. Yep. Because I don't hide about what the fuck I say. But yeah, she she's cool. That's That was my adult prom for my birthday two years ago. <laughs> yeah. You look like Diddy in this one. Sierra, you are banished. Don't say nothing else. Don't you say nothing. Don't you ever compare me to that damn marsupial dinosaur looking monkey bitch. Bitch. Just deemed it. Oh, fairy God. Y'all are some. Y'all the shit. I swear. I hope you put your cash up in that. Look like that. You are banished. Don't you say nothing else. Don't you say nothing else. You, you've, you've reenacted Squad Jail. Squad Jail got eliminated, but I thought it was going to be Deja that brought it back. You brought back. Don't you ever compare me to no damn Diddy. DD, honey. DD did it. DD did it. Yes, he did. And I'm not Diddy, okay? I, I would have claimed Diddy before Diddy did it because Diddy was that damn monkey on the damn Donkey Kong. That was a little monkey. But I would have been Donkey Kong. I would have been big monkey, bitch. If anything, I'm Donkey Kong, bitch, okay? Talking about some Diddy. I ain't no damn Diddy, bitch. You are in jail. You are in fucking jail. You have reenacted the jail. Don't say nothing. Chain her up. Throw her on the wall, bitch. In the hole on the wall. In my jail, there's a wall full of Velcro, and you gotta wear cotton fabric and just throw you up there, and we'll feed you one meal a day. And it's, it's gonna be crab legs because the jail is nice and fancy and shit. But you in jail, but you can't even talk about some shit like that, bitch. What the fuck wrong with you, bitch? I'm talking about this shit, bitch. Oh, where you stay at? Where do you stay at? Where do you stay at? What city are you in, bitch? Because I just, I just found out I got hitters in every city. They coming to get your ass, bitch. You don't say no shit like that to me. I hung over this motherfucking morning, bitch. What's wrong with you, bitch? Talking about that bullshit. I'm about some diddy bitch. You upset me. You upset me. You upset me. You upset me. Shit. Oh, God. Oh. Sierra, see, you, you was doing good. You in North Carolina. Oh, you in North Carolina. 
I got some hitters out here. I got some hitters. Who in North Cat? Pull up on Sierra. Pull up on Sierra. Shut her ass up, bitch. <laughs> Pull up on Sierra. Pull up on the bitch. Bitch, don't talk no shit like that to fuck around with you, bitch. Sit up here and got cussed out for all these motherfucking people, bitch. Fuck around with you, bitch. But shut your ass up, bitch. Oh, God. I still feel like I ain't gave you what I needed to give you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Fuck, bitch. You probably gonna screen record this and show it to all your friends. Boost done cussed me out this morning. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> if I never cussed you out, I don't love you. That's some real shit, though. Okay. I, I swear I'm working my way up to the word. I The word's in my head. I thought about it all night because I was really... When I be drunk, I be thinking about what I'm going to tell the people. Like, you know, because I need to save face. But it really ain't no saving face, bitch. When I'm drunk, you're going to know it, okay? You're going to clap your hands. Raise your hand if you ever been around me when I was drunk. Is it a good time? It's a good. I'm a good drunk. I'm a good drunk time. I feel like I'm going to be that old man sitting on the porch with my damn Colt 45 and my blunt. And I'm talking pure shit. And people just come just to hear what the fuck I got to say. Go ahead and laugh, Dakota. Dakota, you need to bring your, your sexy bitch. When I saw your ass in person, Dakota, I gagged. Your ass could save the planet. It could. If we ever have an apocalypse, I'm finding Dakota, and I just need one cheek. One cheek could feed me for a year, and by then, the world will be populated with vegetation again. Bitch, your ass is, is, that's, women are shapely. They are shapely. Women are shapely as fuck. Okay, Dakota's ass, I ain't never seen no ass like that before. That ass, that ass caused the eclipse. That ass caused the eclipse. That ass, you can't fight because that ass, whew, that ass, you can't fight Sierra Dakota because that ass needs to be preserved. That's what needs to happen. I mean, I was so shocked. I humped you. I think Brandon came out, didn't he? Didn't I hump you? Hump back, hump back, hoot your mama. That show did. I humped the fuck out of your ass at that damn cookout. I was drunk at the cookout. I need to do, okay, this L.A. perfume brunch, I'm not going to get drunk. I'm not going to get drunk at the L.A. perfume brunch. I'm not going to get drunk at the L.A. perfume brunch. I'm going I'm to drink um, slushies. You know, I love a daiquiri. You know, let me borrow a scoop of cheeks. You know, get, give me uh slushy emojis. Them slushies is her cheeks. Come to Denver, put that vape down and roll up boots. You don't tell me what the fuck to do. You in jail too. You just, you, you're, you're, you're in jail too. Uh, who is that? Uh, who, Kendra? Kendra, shut your ass up, bitch. Talking about put the vape down. I ain't picking up Newports. Bitch, I've been addicted to nicotine since I was 14 years old. I don't ever see myself not vaping. I gotta have nicotine, bitch. Period. Period. Okay, I have a type A addictive personality and I'm going to smoke. Bitch, you don't tell me to put no vape. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You want to see me go in the, you want to see me go to jail. You want to see me go to jail. You want to see me go to jail. Okay. Okay, I put this shit down for 24 hours. Y'all going to see me in the penitentiary. I swear. I got to stop speaking that. Okay, so we have to. I have to reframe jail in my mind <laughs> because words are powerful. And I've been talking a lot about jail lately. That's because I've been working two missing persons cases on the low. Yeah, but I ain't supposed to tell y'all that. So you didn't hear that from me. Okay, I've been working two missing persons cases. Uh, my second one was assigned to me on Saturday. And my first one, I've been working all week. It's going to come to a close. I predict it tomorrow. So we're going to see exactly if they find the baby girl. That baby girl's alive. The one that I'm on now, I don't know quite yet i need to talk to the father somebody sent you the sydney photo i know now i can edit my video for today thank you <clears throat> thank you very much yeah and i'm gonna get him some money too when i find out who sent it to me in my dms mm -hmm. it's a lovely day um but sierra and kendra are in jail kendra you you are in general population you're the only one there because i kind of canceled jail when squad got uh memberships open or whatever, but you, uh, 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 Sierra is on the Velcro while in the hole, and you are in general population. We do serve three meals a day. They're five course meals, um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have a breakfast buffet every day. Jail is a really nice place to be. You know, if you're gonna be locked up in my jail, you're gonna be treated like royalty. Okay, period, period, point blank. You know, um, but a thought came to me when I was drunk trying to sleep last night. It was, do you know how fucked up America is? Do you know how fucked up America is? Like. And this is not to make you depressed or anything. It's just knowledge that, like, I, 
have you ever tried to go to sleep drunk and your thoughts won't let you sleep? So I was thinking about everything from like energy to me not having an altar to the state of the world. And do you realize that the government, I'm just going to be clear. The government floods our streets with drugs and then locks people up for drugs that they actually put on the streets, right? Simultaneously, you're making money off of every prisoner in a private prison, okay? So you're making money on the back end from illegal drugs that are keeping us bound to an addiction. And then you're locking up people making money on the drug dealers that you're incarcerating and you won't let them out even though certain drugs that you are were trapping at the time are legal now, right? So you're still serving sentences for that. That's not right. That's not fair. But the person at the top is eating. Simultaneously, you have pharmaceutical companies that can create drugs that are more harmful to you and more addictive to you than the drugs that are on the street. I've spoken to so many people who are addicted, were addicted to opioids because they had a surgery or something like that. And now they're addicted to it. So you're, when your pharmacist says you don't get no more, they don't give you nothing to get off it. They just send you to the wolves. So what you're going to do is you're going to crave your addiction and get it from the street that they populate the drugs with. It's a lose-lose situation. Not only that, if you're not into drugs, you have to pay taxes on selling something in this country. You have to pay taxes on property that you own. You have to pay business tax. They are eating beyond eating and making decisions for us that we're supposed to be having a vote on, but I'm not the one counting the ballot. I don't know what the fuck if my vote really counts or not. I've had this conversation with you before. So my whole thing is being aware and how do you how do you how do you get out of that? I think there's a way out, and I feel like it's Indian based. I feel like we need to invest in land on Indian reservations and create our own rules. Like that's how that's how I feel. Like that's the only way, you know. And at, at this point, I even feel like the Indians got the short end of the stick because not only did they come to this country and force you on land that you do run, but if they decide to take that over, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna take that over too. It's it's crazy. Like I. It's a lose-lose situation. You can't win. You can't win. And so, for me, I paid $400,000 in taxes last year. $400,000 in taxes last year. Just keep in mind that that, that that is after my accountant did her thing, right? And I'm thinking to myself, like, bitch, if I, was, if I wasn't frugal, bitch, I'd be in a hoe. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, even though I'm worth... Millions, 2.4 to be exact, as of yesterday. I check my, my net worth a lot. I don't have that in the bank. Don't, don't, if I stop working, bitch, I am like, I don't have residual income. Put it that way. I am actively rich, but I'm not wealthy. Wealthy is when you plant seeds that build upon themselves. Now, look, the thing is, I do make money in my sleep, but I have to work to make, to, to, to keep that coming in. I have to always be in your face. I have to always promote. My goal now is to create, uh, wealth. That's my goal now, to create wealth and to change the world. And I'm learning more about the world as I am elevating. And I hope I'm teaching you. I miss nine to fives because taxes were automatic, bro. Like business owners, like if you, and that's crazy too, because if you're not employed by a company run by the powers that be, then you're out there on your own willy nilly. And the education system doesn't set you up to win. But God has my back. And y'all do too. I have a feeling if I ever was to slip really far down, I'll go on live. I'll tell y'all and y'all, y'all pick me back up. And it's such a dope connection that we have. That's why they fear cults. That's why they fear religious organizations. Um, another thought that came to me is witchiness is everywhere. Witchiness is everywhere. Witches are everywhere. They're just not loud. They've learned to be quiet because they were silenced during the Salem witch trials. The Kardashians, witches. Beyonce, witches. Uh, Nicki Minaj cast spells. She even references Kali Ma quite often. It's crazy because I am firmly aware that the powers at B know that if you tap into certain frequencies, you're untouchable. So they use them as a part of their game. You see what I'm saying? There is no way in the world Nicki Minaj went from being coked out three days on live to putting on a world tour the way that she is. That's demonic. That That is an energy that you're summoning within this girl that is making the powers that be money. And then if somebody got some sense, they start suing like Megan Thee Stallion's cameraman. But guess what's going to happen? You're coming up against a behemoth. You're not going to win. Just like Lizzo, her background singers, they got kicked out of the system. Lizzo's still in the game. So they're coming against Lizzo. Like it's it's crazy. But as a human, you can't win. You have to learn how to play the game. 
And I, I, I've gotten to the point now where it's like, it's not about winning. It's about finessing and getting through. And that's not finessing like the get. That's not like finessing your, who, how real you are. That is about playing the game. I graduated college with a master's because I finessed. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't do half the shit, bro. I, I got, I got cool with the teachers. I was sucking dick and I hired Asians. And that was before I had money. I was giving them ages like $25 to do my damn math shit, bro. Like, on some real shit. Like, you, I can't wait to be a father because I'm going to teach my children. You need to be intelligent, but you also need to be intelligent enough to learn how to fuck with a system that really is designed not to fuck with you. And the thing is, it's crazy because we're, we're in a generation now where we're defeating racism. We're defeating, not saying it doesn't exist, but... We're all realizing that we're all crabs in a bucket. Classism is the big issue here. That's the big divide. Because what's happening right now is the middle class is going away. If you haven't realized this, people either have it or they don't have it right now. You see what I'm saying? The the, the stores used to be Kung Pao with brands. It's only three brands of bread in there right now. You know what I'm saying? Like Like the middle class is suffering. And I predicted this was going to happen. My girl, Sam, who stalked me to the airport that one time I was going to New Orleans. I forgot. Um, she said, you said that the middle class divide was going to be real. And it is real. But we're so distracted by Trump's campaign trying to overturn civil rights that we don't see what's happening in front of our face. The rich are getting richer. The poor are getting poor. And the middle class is going to be non-existent. We're, going to, we're navigating towards a Hunger Games society. That's what we're, you're going to be in Mount Olympus looking very theatrical with your geese on, or you're going to be in the slums hiring somebody to fight for your entertainment. That's some shit, ain't it? Ain't that some shit? So all of these were thoughts I was having last night that in my drunken state said I was going to express to you. Um, yeah, so just a conversation. And this is literally me at work right now. I am forcing myself to talk. I'm forcing myself to entertain you because I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. That was part of the reason why I did choose to go live yesterday. Uh, uh, one of the Did y'all tune into that late night live? I was fucked up. So the thing is, I get to the point where I'm drunk, where I can, I can willingly make myself throw up, right? And when I turned that live on, all I thought to myself was purge. Get it out of me. Get out of me. Get out of me. And I did. I purged. I, threw, I made myself throw up. I don't know if y'all can hear myself throwing up, but I was throwing up and I t turned that live the fuck off or whatever. Um, but it was a good time and I wanted to make Tyler feel good for her birthday. One of the things that she expressed to me yesterday was that nobody celebrates her birthday except me. I'm the only one in her whole life that has celebrated her birthday. I believe in birthdays. That is a day that you came into existence. And she cried and I was like, oh my God, I don't. I've been without intimate connections for so long. Like, I don't know how to take certain things. I have to relearn how to let my guard down to the fact that you're crying in front of me. But it was so intimate and we covered so much ground and we talked. I'm just so grateful that she's back. Anyway, so I did want to show her off. I wanted to show her off, but I wasn't in a state to be live. But I have my live scheduled. So I knew I have to do one more show before I go to L.A. That was supposed to be that show. Well, I don't know if y'all going to get a show before then. I'm going to post this Sydney Star shit. I'm going to try to catch up on these reads and see what tonight brings. But I'll tell you, just me expressing myself with everybody who's watching right now, I feel good. I feel feel like the sun is out. And then I woke up and the geese, you know, the geese fly the coop every every winter, um, every spring. They fly the coop and they'll come back and like, are they out there? Oh, they're out there. Where your baby? There they go. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look at the babies. Look at them. Sorry, leave them alone. Look at the babies. Look. Leave them alone, sir. How many of them is it this year? One, two, three, four, five, six. Y'all, congratulations, mamas. I gave them some bread because I don't have no food. I thought they was gone. And them, them ducks over there. Leave them alone, sir. Come here. Leave them alone. Look at them. It's one. Because they'll attack you for them for their children. One, two, three, four, five. So they bring them over here to show them where the food going to be at. I put some bread out there for them. Um, to eat, and the geese don't really play about their babies for real. Sir, I told you to leave alone. Sir, get over here. Get over here. God damn it. Dog, bad as me. So I woke up to some babies, and clearly they're letting Sir get to know them. Everybody knows Sir, they be playing, but they're babies. Sir plays too rough. It's like the cousin that plays too rough, you know? 
Welcome to my life, everybody. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting up. Okay, so thank you guys for watching all that candid mess. The the, the, the lawnmower has started, and I am ready to deliver a word. The topic of the week is doubt, correct? Uh, well, in my drunken state last night, I was thinking about the word that I was going to give you today, and I have it. So, um, again, code no doubt is your code for a discount. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make it 50% off today. Um, just keep in mind, just be a little patient with me this week because I got thrown off, okay? It was birthdays, it was studio, I have a lot going on, so just please, I'm asking to give me at least 70, for 70, 72 hours to get your questions answered to you. Um, but everything is 50% off right now, I'm doing the code right now, I'm using code no doubt, okay? The word I have for you about doubt is foresight, okay? This word came to me drunkenly last night, so I'm going to try to deliver it in the best way. The ability to see how you'll feel after an action has been taken in the present. This is a gift. Not everybody can do this, but you can train yourself to do this. Okay, so my nail technician is a Virgo. This is a very Virgo trait, okay? Virgos are extremely analytical creatures and they're perfectionists. So what they'll do is in a split second, they will have weighed every option of how something's going to go down and then they can perceive how they'll feel after everything has gone down okay um oh my god i just got nervous <laughs> foresight is the word oh my god you do watch oh my god now i feel like i look a mess oh my god i can't oh my god i'm sorry i gotta do this whole word over again I gotta do this whole word over again. I just got nervous and stuff. I'm going to get in the hot tub and get my butt naked. I just, I need to, I need to breathe. I'm sorry. I, don't, I can't believe this. Shit. Sir, go, go away. I gotta get in the hot tub. Excuse me, world. I'm naked, but we were born this way. Oh God, I can't believe his. Okay, let me focus. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Um, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Sir, wait a minute. Sir, come here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got thrown off. Y'all gotta forgive me. I got thrown off, but I, I can do it. Ooh. Hey. Um, back to the word that I was trying to give. I don't want my hair to get wet, but hey, hey. Mm. Okay. Sir, bring it, bring it to me. Let me see. Bring it here, baby. Bring it here, baby. Bring it here. Don't be stingy with the cootie cat. Okay, well... Foresight was the word I was trying to give. Um, mm. Mind your business, maid. You just a maid. Shit, mind your business. Okay, back to the word at hand. Okay, first of all, <laughs> mind your business. You're in jail. You're in jail, maid. Maid, you're now the maid of jail. Clean up this jail. Damn. Shut up. Everybody shut up. Don't say no. I'm about to show you this ass. You better shut up. Everybody shut up before I show you this ass. You better shut up before I show you this ass, bitch. Got thrown off. Now I'm trying to get back on now. I'm trying to get back on. Got thrown off. I'm going to show you this ass. Shut up, Kend Kendra. You already in jail. I'm okay, baby. I got thrown off, baby. Give me a kiss. Okay. I got thrown off. I got thrown off. I got thrown off, baby. I got thrown off. I got thrown off. <sighs> okay. Uh. 
Okay. <laughs> the word of the day is. Uh, well, uh, I was on a roll. We might have to do this later. <laughs> got nervous. I got nervous. Okay. Ooh, no. Here, don't touch the water. All right. So, again, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by um, Kendra. <clears throat> um. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, the ability to see. <laughs> I'll say, can you see by the dawn's? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? I think I know what the word was gonna go about. Y'all, y'all got it. I'm about to leave it out of here. I can't do it no more. What so proudly we held <laughs> to our lights? I'm too hungover for this. Okay. Just stay put. Just stay there. Think of that one that's missing. Okay, I can put you back in today. Okay, so. Doubt. One of the ways to rectify doubt is foresight. It's a very Virgo trait. This is what I thought about last night when I was hungover. I had to switch personalities to deliver this work because Boots is really giddy right now. So I might have a, a little bit of a deeper voice as I say this, okay? Because I have to switch characters in my mind because I'm just giddy right now. Um, anyway, foresight. It's a very Virgo trait. Virgos do this effortlessly. But also I find that right brain people do this effortlessly too. In the moment you're making a decision to do something or not do something, right? A way that you can defeat doubt is by the gift of foresight. You can train yourself to do this. Um, it might take a little bit more time for those who are not able to do this very well. I can do this very well, but I just choose not to. And I just choose to go on autopilot with kind of what I feel. And then I end up having regret at the end. So what a Virgo will do is they have a decision. They are doubtful about what they are going to do. And what they do is they look to the future to see how they will feel if they don't do it. Then they look to the future to see how they feel if they would do it. And the way that they defeat their doubt is they don't want to face regret. Or some people don't want to face regret. And sometimes that regretting feeling that they can foresee coming if they don't do something screams louder than the fear that they have in doing it. It can overcompensate for the doubt that they have. That's the point that I was trying to make. Does that make sense? So, uh, and I, I, I talked about a Virgo because my nail technician is a Virgo and she does this effortlessly, effortlessly. Like in a split second, like, do you want something to eat today? She'll be like, I can see her thinking about it. She's like, I don't want to use his money to get something to eat, but I am fucking hungry. But Boots is generous. If I don't get nothing to eat, I'm going to be a bitch doing his nails. Yeah, I do want something to eat. In that split second, all of that goes through her mind, and I'm able to see that on her. So I'm already, I'm going to get you something to eat regardless, but that's the process that goes through her mind. She had doubt in saying yes because she didn't want to feel like she was using me, but then she would be hungry doing my nails and turn into a bitch knowing that it was a long nail day. That's what she does. That's what a Virgo does. The person who designed my website was a Virgo. And um, one thing, we, we, don't lo we no longer speak, but it was purposeful so I could learn how to do web programming myself. Um, but she did that. She thought a lot about how it would be perceived, my website, over and over and over again before she actually launched it and said, hey, I'm, we're good for this. So... In my drunken state, I kind of pinned together two dots. Doubt and foresight is rectifiable by, by, doubt is rectifiable by foresight. That's the point I'm trying to make. Now, if you're not good at that, you can always say, let me think about it. Okay? But it's, it is a downfall. But it's a good quality in dealing with doubt, though. It, it can be, because along with that, Virgos have a perfectionist mindset, too. So it has to be perfect and perfection is subjective. So that can cause a Virgo to, you know, overly foresee the possibilities of how something's going to go. But if you are in doubt, what I do suggest that you do is channel the Virgo energy. And in doing that, you will say, OK, give me five minutes. Let me think about this. And you will say, I if I do do this, I'm going to either be proud of myself or embarrassed. Right. If I don't do this, I'm always going to think about what if. I would rather not face the what if and face embarrassment than to not do it. That is a way that you can get through doubt. Does that make sense? Now, I don't think this way. 
it's not a natural thing for me to think this way. I'm either gonna do it or I ain't. Okay, like I'm I'm a very I'm a very in the moment creature. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. If I'm not, I'm not. And then I'll face the emotions on the back end. You know, and that might not be good either because it causes you to toil in your thoughts. Sometimes it causes you to ruminate is the word I'm looking for in your own thought processes. And that can be a bit daunting, especially for a spiritual person. But I do feel like this ability of foresight is not a it's, it's natural to some, especially if you're an introverted and a quiet person, because you're always up here thinking about the possibilities. But instead of thinking about how it's going to go, you got to think about how you're going to feel if or if you don't do something. And that to me is a motivating factor to defeat doubt. Because I would rather face my fears in doubt than to have a what if type of energy. That's just me, though. OK, now, if you find yourself thinking about how things are going to play out for you and you you're stuck there, then that might not be the tactic for you. OK, that could be. That's why people come see me. They're stuck in that space of contemplation. But but the problem is you're not thinking about how you will feel playing scenarios you're just nervous about doing anything so for me this is a methodology to get you to a space to where the power's back in your hands and that's what doubt tricks us into seeing doubt makes us feel like we don't have any control like insecurities make you feel that way you know and I, the reason i said that's because i touched my nose y'all know i am i can't even claim to be four and a half years clean now because i had a situation like I told you, Mercury retrograde brought back some temptations, but I will tell you this in my tapping back in, I, ta I caught my rehab therapist and she said, how do you feel? I said, I don't feel guilty, but I didn't enjoy it. So she was like, this is a part of the, the process. I was four and a half years clean. I tapped back in a couple of weeks ago. I did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy it. And she said, that's normal. Don't beat yourself up. I didn't beat myself up because I can't change the past. But if I would have thought about how I would feel after I did it i couldn't because i was drunk you know i probably wouldn't have and i could have still been counting you, you see what i'm saying but anybody who's recovered from addiction you're gonna tap back in it could be 10 years down the line you you're gonna have an alcoholic beverage and you're gonna have a feeling based upon that in my drunken state last night i thought about that and i said if i would have thought about how i would feel after I did something, I wouldn't have done it. Or if I would have thought how this could have played out, like in school, for instance, if I would have thought that my, when my mother cut me off, well, no, I was on autopilot. It's interesting. So for me, intuition and spirit always guides my steps. Always. I know that I had a slight relapse two weeks ago that you didn't know about, but I'm telling you now. Because I needed to experience that. People have been clean for years, and they experience relapses. I, everything I go through is purposeful. So I really don't have this foresight ability for real. I'm just on autopilot. I'm going to do what, I, what I'm doing, and then I'll find a lesson in it afterwards. Because I'm a teacher. I administer, right? But for regular people, and people who seek guidance... I feel like tapping into that right brain side of playing scenarios in your mind as to how you'll feel after they do or after you don't is a pivotal key in conquering doubt. This is a complex concept. This is not for the feeble minded. OK, this this topic is, is for people who have expanded mindsets. Right. So I, I honestly feel. How can I put this? I honestly feel like this methodology was given to me to give to you because I don't operate like that. I operate in, I'm going to do what I'm going to do regardless, and I'm going to figure out the meaning of it afterwards. That's how I operate. But I also have a stronger faith than most people. I know that I went through that last two weeks because I have something to tell you about it. I know that I go through heartbreak because I have something to administer to. I know that I separated from my best friend. I never really, I just go through the experience. But for people who are doubtful, who aren't as forthright and righteous about what they do, this should help foresight. And again, Mallory does this in a split second. Like I could see her in like a minute toiling about whether she should ask me for food or not. And I was like, holy shit, me being who I am, psychic and intuitive, I'm reading what she's doing. And it's not the first time I saw that energy. I saw it on a number of Virgo. And it's always a Virgo, though. It's always like 
lower in the zodiac that does this. Virgos do it. Leos don't do it at all. Leos, Leos don't do it at all. Cancers do it, but they don't act. They just think. <laughs> Pisces act on emotion. Tauruses, if it serves us, will do it. <laughs> Gemini's, they'll do it and not do it at the same time. They'll do it and claim that they, they didn't do it. Sagittarius, they don't do nothing wrong, so they're gonna do what they're gonna do regardless too. I think I'm very Sagittarius in the way that I move. And I got to, I get that from my mother. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and that's just what's gonna be done. And I'm gonna figure out the I'm I'm gonna find a way to be right after I do it. That's what that's what the Sagittarius do. That yeah. Aries Aries want somebody to agree with what they're doing, and if they get a if they get a second, they'll do anything. If Aries get a hype man, they'll do anything. <laughs> they will do anything. Capricorns typically make very good decisions. I don't feel like Capricorns... Capricorns might naturally, intuitively be foresighted creatures. Pisces act emotionally. Aquarius... Okay, I'm thinking about Meg Thee Stallion, right? Because that's the only Aquarius I know personally. Um... I don't know. Y'all tell me how Aquarius fits into this. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know a lot of Aquarian energy, for real. I know it's an air sign. Mm. I want to say they'll go with the group. Like, okay, if Aquarius is have an example, they'll move. That's it. So... Instead of putting themselves in a situation, they'll see somebody else do it first, and then they'll move. That's an Aquarius. Yeah, and and then the whole time they're doing it, they're not. They don't care. <laughs> they don't. They don't give a fuck. They're like, okay, well, they did it. I'm doing it in school. Yeah, that's kind of like an Aquarius. Um, Virgos. We, the topic is Virgo energy. Um, who else am I missing? Sagittarius got them. Leo, Libras. Libras do this on autopilot libras are the balance Lib libras 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 I, I libras do make mistakes but i feel like they weigh their their options prior to making the mistake like they say I, i'm gonna go ahead and do this and i'm just gonna face the consequences afterwards and they're justified they they can they can sit in it because they 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 have a sense of righteousness about them that they deserve they add balance to any situation my assistant is a a um libra she adds balance yes so that's kind of how I feel like the Zodiac fits into it. As you guys can see, I'm incorporating astrology a little bit. But my astrology is based on what I've read on my clients through my tarot. So that's what I'm going to say. Um, we all can do this, though. And I feel like in bringing this to your conscious awareness, hopefully it helps you with defeating some doubt that you have. Think about it if you didn't do it. The doubt took over. And then, in the spiritual way, pray for a sign of confirmation so for me you know i used to doubt public appearances like um especially when i graduated college college i was i was a man around that motherfucker i was in everybody club i did everything you know there was no doubt in me going out but now i in the transition of college and becoming an adult i used to doubt going to certain places and i asked for confirmation and the place got shot up Music City. Y'all remember Music City? Um in, in Greensboro. This shit was bumping. That's that's the first time I saw a dead body. Music City. Sure was. The motherfucker got shot. They was so hood, bro. They was so hood. That was the first time I saw a dead body. And then the second time was my grandmother, but I held her hand. She wasn't really dead. She was in the in the room and I found her will. And that's when my family really said, Oh yeah, he on some other shit. Yeah. Yeah. So anywho. Hopefully that helped you. Uh, you guys definitely helped me get going today. I think I'm going to get that tip jar done and go live around the same time I did last night, like 9 o'clock p.m. Because I still want to stay on my schedule. You know, I have one. I'm scheduled to do one more live video up there in the office before I go to L.A. tomorrow. The airport outfit is stunning. It's Kylie Jenner. I haven't worn it yet. You want to see it? Come on, let's go in there and see it. Let's go up in here and see it real quick. No, baby, you stay outside. You know how to do My airport outfit... It's stunning. I'm going to do a bomb-ass video walking through the airport. It's this trench aisle with that Louis bag. Holy shit. And it wraps around at the waist so that gut will be belted. That is a look. 
It's just a look. That's that trench coat I wanted when she first came out with the shit. And I had to wait. And I'm I'm going to slay that shit. How are you going to do your makeup? I don't know, TJ. Are you in LA? You want to do my face? I don't want to do nothing. I'm on vacation. Oh, y'all saw some dick. If you screenshot what you just saw, you probably see my dick. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to go and have a good time. I want to go see my girls have a good time. And that's why I said I don't know if I'm going to get an apartment because I don't want to be pressed. I want to enjoy my second home. That's what I want to do. First time I've been there this year, but I go every year. And I have a meeting with Mona, Mona Scott Young. I don't know what she's trying to do, but I'm down. It's time to change the world, and I need a bigger voice. And I'll have one. But I promise you this, we always going to go live and turn up like this. Always. I told y'all I was always going to do it, and I always have. Now, this vape right here is weird. You got to put the whole thing in your mouth. Look. It's the shit, now. This shit be hitting like a bitch. Okay. Maya! Maya! Oh, help me, baby. Oh, Maya, please help me. Save me from myself. Save me from myself, Maya. Please, please. You the what best. What y'all drink? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, my my all of that. Look at the goddamn cake, bitch. I'm so sorry to have to put you through that. Oh, no, it looked like semen. I Let's taste it. <laughs> mm, it was a good cake too. That was a it good is ice cream cake. It, but I didn't know it was ice cream cake. Mm -hmm. Like it fooled me from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> all of that liquor gone. Y'all tore it down. And, and you know, I just read up from Big Worm. That's all I got left. Damn. Girl, do me a favor right quick. I don't even want to smoke. I just want to lay down. I just want to lay down. You're going to get me a cold pop and lay down. Unless you do your thing. Yeah, and uh, the root beer. Uh-huh. And so, we got to get the house travel ready and paint ready. So, when you get done with the general clean, we'll do, do the, do the okay. altar. It's so cold over there, isn't it? Oh, Over there. Yeah. It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah. So, yeah, after the general cleaning, we'll do that. I think I want to move those boxes from here to the inventory room. Okay. But just holler at me when the general stuff is done, and I, I'll come out and okay. masturbate for you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. Best assistant fucking ever. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, I'm being here answering readings. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. No, I'm gonna sleep. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh. Oh, shit. And this time, LA, you get to meet Maya. <laughs> Maya's coming. You ready to travel? Are you packed? Pack, you know, I packed the day of, bitch. I ain't packed, not a bitch. So, we gonna, um, you coming here first tomorrow morning? Okay, yeah, come here first, and then we'll Uber together to the port. Or I'll drive, honestly. Drive? I think so, because I don't want to wait on nothing when I get back home. Yeah. You know, I think I'll drive. And we just got to remember where we parked this time. Uh, yeah, because last time I had to shit, and I couldn't find that car. I had to go. I... We did. And then I didn't work my Cadillac app right. It, it'll tell you where the car is. Okay, got you. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh. <sighs> Correct. Correct. <sighs> when I meet all of y'all, I'm gonna fan out. It's cool, but make sure you get that out the way in the beginning, cause we we a family. Get that out the way, and then we just come through. Okay, my hair looks so good. It does. I had Michelle pulled out a couple of those extensions last night when I was in the beach room, but I'm so proud of my hair. I slept without no scarf on last night. I typically don't do that, but I think my hair enjoys being free. My hair is a a, a spirit in its own self. It really is. And it I've always wanted locks. I didn't know they were gonna be this small uh when I was a kid. But somebody did because they painted a fan picture and I had these already. I don't know who sent me this. I need to look at the back of the photo. I'm going to get up real quick and show y'all. <clears throat> but this picture, I don't know. Raise your hand if you are following me when um, somebody sent me that. Somebody sent me this. And if you look at the hair, I was wearing wigs at the time. But this is my hair right now. That's my favorite picture. 
I love that picture. I feel like it needs to be highlighted in the house a little bit more. Like that, that they did that. I don't. Who, somebody find out who that is. I think it's gonna look even better on that green too. Oh my God! Yes. We coming back to a whole new crib, bro. <laughs> I'm excited about it. So anyway, I love my hair. Um, it took it takes forever to do, but. It's like Beyonce and her sacred wash days. Like, that's my day to just do nothing. For real. Oh, I'm up. I feel better. Thank you, guys. Y'all's energy really got me up. Because I swear I wasn't going to make it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. We're going to get the house ready, right? And then I'm going to do the tip jar for like two hours at like 8 o'clock p.m. And then I do a live at like 10, right? And then I'm done. We'll work for five days. Mm. My nose is bleeding. Fuck. My sinuses have been on 10. Talk about insecurities. I told y'all I'm insecure about my nose on camera. I think when I blew my nose, I blew it too hard. And typically that happens on a plane too. If I blow my nose on a plane, it'll start bleeding. But typically my nose bleeds when something psychic is going on. So I gotta figure out what that is. Anywho, while I figure that out, you use code no doubt, okay? And um, it will definitely take 50% off until I do my next show. So get your uh, motherfucking readings in. Damn, insecurities all are rushed, honey. And I love you. Remember the word of foresight today. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for sending me this picture with me and Sydney Star. I'm about to edit the video right now. Hopefully she don't clap back because she does follow me, honey. Um, and I love you guys. Have a good day. <laughs> my, my nose is bleeding. It still is.